Welcome at five, four, three, two, one, zero, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is up. At T plus 33 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 in Cape Canaveral, Florida at 4.01 p.m. Eastern Time. Next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is the point where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external, external stresses, stresses as it ascends through the atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Just ahead of Max Q, we do throttle down the M1D engines briefly to reduce the loads on the vehicle. Power telemetry nominal. Max Q. And at this point, we have throttled those Merlin 1D engines back up to full power to continue to boost our way into orbit. Now we're about one minute away from a very exciting portion of our flight. We have a series of back-to-back -back events. Those are Miko or main engine cutoff. Back. Engine chill has started. Stage separation, second engine start one, and then after that we have fairing separation. Miko is when we shut down all nine of those Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Stage separation is when we physically separate the first and second stages from each other. And second engine start one is when we light that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And when we separate the fairings, you will get a good view of those 56 Starlink satellites on our payload. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. Got some great views here of the first stage ascent. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And MVAC ignition. And as you just heard and saw over the nets, uh, we had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Coming up shortly, we will be separating separation confirmed. those two fairing halves, and there they go. You can see those Starlink satellites now exposed to the vacuum of space. We will be attempting to recover those fairing halves today on our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of those fairing halves are supporting today's mission for the seventh time. On the left side of your screen is a view of the first stage with the second stage and its Merlin vacuum engine continuing to burn on the right. You'll notice in that stage one telemetry that we are actually still coasting upwards. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. We will continue to gain a little bit of altitude as we slow down on the first stage before we reach the peak of the first stage's trajectory. At this point, the first stage will then start to accelerate back down towards the Earth to our drone ship that is waiting in the Atlantic Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn. This should last about another four and a half minutes or so. You can see periodic puffs of gas coming off of the first stage. This is our attitude control system. When we are, above, a signal. When we are above the atmosphere, there's nothing to react against, so we must use high-pressured gas to reorient the vehicle. Currently, we are slowly flipping the stage to point those M1D engines in the direction we are traveling. And this is so that when we relight the engines ahead of entry burn, we will slow the vehicle down. You can see the first Earth stage... continue to follow nominal trajectories. The first stage now continuing to accelerate down towards Earth, and we are decreasing the first stage's altitude.
As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living all around the world, as well as remote and rural locations. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 220th mission overall and our 21st mission just this year. Those 220 missions include all Falcon 9s, Falcon Heavies, and Falcon 1s. Coming up next in the mission is entry burn on the first stage. That's the first of two burns that the stage will go through prior to landing. This burn helps reduce the vehicle's velocity as it re-enters the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Should be starting up engine 1, 5, and 9 for that entry burn in around 10 seconds. Stage 1 FTS is saved. Stage 1 entry burn start up. There's that call out for stage 1 entry burn. As you can see, we are now slowing down the vehicle for atmospheric re-entry. This burn lasts around 20 seconds, so we should be wrapping up here shortly. Stage Stage. Entry burn shut down. Stage two FTS is saved. There's that call out for stage one entry burn shut down. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Looks like we did just briefly lose stage one telemetry. This is pretty common for this point in the flight. Stage two continues to accelerate towards low Earth orbit. You can see just how fast we are accelerating now. We still need to reach about 27,000 kilometers per hour in order to reach orbital velocity. As you can see, we did stage just one, regain signal to stage one, and stage one has just passed through transonic speeds. Coming up in about 20 seconds will be the beginning of stage one landing burn. In preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, just read the instructions. The landing burn utilizes the single E9 Merlin 1D engine. Just starting to see that drone ship way below the rocket Stage there. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation. Stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown. Should be seeing those landing legs deploy soon. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There we go. This Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the fourth time. Coming up in just a few seconds is the end of the second engine burn. MVAC shut down. We did just shut down the second engine, waiting on confirmation of good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. 